Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we're back in the SWS PC12 Legacy for Microsoft Flight Simulator. We find ourselves in San Gaian, the Alterine region of Switzerland. And uh, why? Well, we're going to be checking out the new TDS GTNXI Pro upgrade for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Those of you, of course, who have seen a previous video a few months ago, the release of the TDS GTNXI and uh, some of our kind of content which uh, included the use of that like we did for the preview of this aircraft right here prior to its release uh, which actually just had a bit of a refresh and uh, now offers very good Navigraph system support and integration so if that sounds like that's of interest to you this is what this video is all about so TDS GTNXI very popular uh, very good immersive integration with the Garmin uh, GTNXI systems of the uh, various aeroplanes available in Microsoft Flight Simulator. What this offers you is uh, auto high resolution mapping, terrain information, it gives you mapping features about political borders, roads, cities all around you as you're flying around the world and it gives you a lot of navigational data as well that we are used to enjoying and, and having access to with things like Navigraph, so those VOR and NDB frequencies. Taxing around the bigger airports gives you the airport diagrams like taxiways and because it has that Navigraph integration you can now also update the nav data of these aeroplanes which use the TDS GTNXI using the Navigraph hub. It's got its own separate update function for it now also has access to georeference charts like the Navigraph charts that we've been used to and as you can see here it's actually part of the package so if we zoom on out at the minute I've got the chart overlay placed in over San Gaian, uh, Alta Rhine and uh, we're vectoring at the minute on the left downwind towards uh, the approach to runway 10 bit of body of water around us there and it's auto switched the ILS frequency into the airport aircraft for us because we've selected that. Very easy to set up using the TDS GTNXI program. It'll ask you to add in the code from the Navigraph website uh, or scan the QR code, something again we're very familiar with uh, using. So you can toggle the charts on and off. You can change uh, low airways, high airways as well and depending on what procedures you are using it will allow you to access those charts as a bit of an overlay. If we wanted to bring up the specific charts ourselves, bearing in mind this has the Navigraph nav data in it now thanks to the, in the uh, integration with the GTNXI Pro upgrade, it allows us to now access all those charts. It gives us the latest nav data which feeds in the realistic, accurate, up-to-date waypoints and all that sort of thing. So Alton Rhine and we've got configured for the ILS runway 10. We can view airport information so here we can have a little look at the taxiways uh, looking like a backtrack or we go right out down to the bottom of 28 and then vacate onto November. We can have a look at various departure frequent, uh, charts and uh, departure routings and we can do the same for arrivals and this would be naturally replicated against any of the routes that we might be flying around. And again the same for approaches so we can just toggle between various different approaches and identify the one that we want to use the most that's uh, relevant to our flight today. And if you want you can press full and it will give you access to that as a full screen giving you a map on the little bit there, the little screen and then you can have a little look here too. Very, very smart indeed. So 5,097 inbound course and uh, DH of 500. I've just set 100 for the purpose today and this shows us a lock course offset of 0 0.8 degrees inbound 097 and the frequency of 10875 which on nav 1 there, IAL, ILS, is already tuned in ready for us. Sweet. It's also, like we said about the georeference charts, got our little aeroplane positioned over the chart so we can see our position relative to the uh, charts and the procedure that we're about to commit to. So with that we're going to route in 
and commit to a uh, little ILS here into Alton Rhine. With it as well, so if you're doing more complex routes, you can press the DTO key, which is just underneath the home button there, either on the little screen or on the big screen there, and it'll allow you to um, do a direct to that waypoint with the GTN TDNXI. Gives you obstacles and wire data so you can see uh, various uh, sort of terrain issues that might be around us that will affect our flight and terrain elevation data linked in with the TAWS alert system of various airplanes. You can add in your custom user waypoints, you can actually plan your flight directly in this airplane using uh, in the home tab the flight plan section there There's a lot to get stuck into really. Those of you who have been using this aeroplane and the TDS GTN XI mod for a little while, um, or even other aeroplanes, will be familiar of course with a lot of the functionality here. Uh, the uh, switch between common nav frequencies and the, the effortless way in which this actually operates. Comes with a manual as well for those of you who are a little bit uncertain about procedures and uh, how to install it perhaps. While I'm chatting I've missed my ability to establish here and as you can see it gives us a, some behavior with smooth autopilot control as well how do you know if the Navigraph system is up to date? Well, when you turn the aeroplane on, you will see at the very top Navigraph DB and it will give you the current air rack that you have installed. And again, as I said, in the Navigraph hub, it's very easy to update that anyway. So worldwide updatable charts provided by Navigraph and seamless integration of that into the aeroplane, as you can see. And uh, the links for it are in the description, so if it tickles your fancy and you think, you know what, this is the sort of product I need, then you'll be able to find the links to it down below. Uh, purchase price, about €65, Euros, roughly 55 to 56 quid, uh, excluding VAT uh, with a bit of an estimated currency conversion. And of course, for the Navigraph features, you need a Navigraph subscription, uh, and I can recommend there with that the Navigraph Ultimate subscription there uh, and if you pay annually with that it actually saves you a little bit of money as well you get about a month for free uh, with the comparison to paying monthly so if you found that video useful do hit like hit subscribe and I'm gonna go and shoot this ILS into Alton Rhine thanks very much for watching share your comments down in the comment section below and I'll see you very soon take care thanks for watching